catch weight of 175 pounds. Yeah, you're looking to look at the age. Dylan is a young man, but the big thing is pro debut. How is he going to handle the pressure? With the official introductions, here's the voice of the Bellator MMA cage, Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome tonight live on Paramount Network. Miller Lite presents Bellator MMA from Allstate Arena. The action begins now with three five minute rounds brought to you by Boost Mobile. Get the best value in national prepaid wireless. Easy to switch, easy to save. And now, first introducing the blue corner at five foot nine, weighing in 174 pounds. His professional record stands at two and four. He fights out of Carbondale, Illinois, presenting Kaiho Walker. And across the cage is adversary out of the red corner at six foot weighing in 175 pounds even tonight inside the Bellator cage he makes his long anticipated professional MMA debut fighting out of New York New York introducing Dylan Dennis and when the bell rings the referee in charge of the action Kevin McDonald The acronym officially morphs from BJJ to MMA for El Jefe, hey, Dylan Dennis. Walker trying to snap a three-fight losing streak. Opening round, fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Dennis immediately shooting for the takedown. Both guys coming out southpaw style. Dennis key to keep his hands up high. He needs to do that. Be smart. Take your time. Do not rush. Let things flow, let things come to you. 24-year-old Dennis in the red gloves and Walker already tagging Dennis with that left hand. The 31-year-old looking to make the most of his Bellator MMA debut. 30 seconds gone and so far it's Walker testing the striking defense of Dennis. Well, I'll tell you what, he's hit him twice with two big left hands. Dennis has responded with nothing more than coming back. He hasn't been offensive. He's got to stop that action and make sure that if he's going to get hit, he's going to counter off of it. Couple of kicks from the southpaw. Dennis avoided that sweeping left hand from Walker. We had a chance to pick the brain of Erudite trainer John Kavanaugh. Dennis's trainer, Conor McGregor's trainer, and he says very much that Dennis is a work in progress in the stand-up, but he is a master of his domain on the ground. Look at what you're looking at with Jiu Jitsu and what he just did in bringing the fight to Conor going into his back. That's because kinetic energy was beating him by big shots by Kyle Walker. This is his world. Dennis swiveling the hips. Walker trying to create separation, trying to posture up. Walker trying to escape. If Dennis looking for the leg lock, looking for that knee bar. All he needs to do is take his time with what he has right here. Look at the position. He's going to go for a toe hold. There you go. And it is over. And as advertised, Dylan Dennis, a huge threat on ground 1 and 0 oh in his MMA career as he vanquishes Kyle you Walker you got some time brother you do you got some time the replay presented by Blackheart Premium Spiced Rum, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core the official rum of Bellator MMA there is such a difference when you talk about grappling and being world class and looking at the leg position of what Dylan Dennis does right here, takes his time, doesn't go into a straight knee bar, decides to roll his hips over, comes out on top, tucks the arm, takes a toe hold, bends it over, there's your tap coming. That is what a true grappler does under his conditions. In 2014, Dan has claimed the World Nogi Championship, the Abu Dhabi World Pro Championship, and the World Championships. By 2016, he was the Pan American Nogi Champ. And we will be back to make it official. Dylan Dennis victorious in his professional mixed martial arts debut. I suppose there is poetic justice that the much ballyhooed BJJ ace Dylan Dennis secures a submission victory in his professional MMA debut. Let's go to Michael C. Williams to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, the tap comes by way of a toehold 
officially one minute 38 seconds into round number one the winner by submission Dylan Dennis one minute 38 seconds is all it took for Dylan Dennis to secure a victory in his pro debut let's go to big John McCarthy all right Dylan you came into this with a lot of hype behind you and a lot of it was created by you you are now one and oh how are you feeling brother I feel great I said this before I came in no one has ever experienced submissions like this in MMA I'm too good I said it like this is another level you took a couple of hard shots in that fight and you demonstrated that you know what you were not going to back down from him Talk about that leg lock. You got him in a toehold. How did you set it up? Man, at the end of the day, I'm a samurai. I came in here to die, so that motherfucker would have had to kill me. And the leg lock, that's just jujitsu. I give you guys a free seminar how to defeat MMA with jujitsu. Real early in your career, but what is it you want next? Who is it that you're looking at? I mean, at the end of the day, I'm the one that created all this. I did all the media. I built up this whole card. So all the bums on the rest of the card are going to call me out now. So. We'll see where we go after this. So we're looking at the Dennis effect right now. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Dylan Dennis. Dylan Dennis predicted a first round submission delivered on his prediction, seems to run in the SBG Ireland camp. And he has made it clear that uh, he is going to be a force to be reckoned with, as he said, representing BJJ and taking it to a whole new level in MMA. And uh, something tells me the first of many autographs he will be.